Hello and welcome. My name is Jeremy Lopez with IdentityNetwork.net. I'm going to talk to you today about how to find your identity. Now, a lot of times people always come to me and they ask me, I don't know what I'm called to do in Christ and, and where do I belong? Where do I fit in in life? And many of you probably have been like uh, many other people, and that is going from church to church, going from Bible study to Bible study, trying to find your niche, where you fit in, where your gifts can fit in, and what are you called to do in life. See, you will keep on running, you'll keep on going from here to here, from business to business, uh, from church to church, from prayer group to prayer group, constantly going here and there until you discover who you are in Christ. Now, one of the things I want you to begin to realize today is this. You are not your own, which means you're bought with a price, which means everything that you ever have been in the past concerning everything negative, all your don'ts, everything that you could not seem to feel like you can get your hands on and accomplish, all of that is not who you really are. Who you really are is someone who is bought with a price. Who you really are is someone that is called Christ. See, the Bible says, as I am, so are you. So God identifies himself with I am, which means for you, he says, as I am, so are you. You're going to have to find yourself as the God on walking on planet Earth, which means knowing that your capability and your possibilities as a human can never be achieved, can never be accomplished, then you've got to realize, as he is, so am I, which means I am the Christ upon planet Earth walking in this earthen vessel, and I'm here to bring life and bring it to people more abundantly. I'm here to lay hands upon the sick and watch them recover. I'm here to bring life to anything and everything that comes my way, which means as an identity in Christ, I must realize that everything that I do is led by the Spirit. Everything that I touch begins to prosper. Everywhere my foot trods, God's going to give it to me. See, as an identity, a lot of you try to find yourself maybe going to the altar week after week, crying and asking God to come back into your life, trying to find a way where God maybe supernaturally will reveal himself to you to where you can discover who you are. Or maybe you find yourself going from, you know, prayer ministry to prayer ministry. Or maybe you find yourself going from, you know, Benny Hinn's conference to, you know, Joyce Meyer's conference. Maybe, hopefully, trying to find out who you are. But see, everything you are is already inside of you, which means that you don't have to seek outwardly. You're not going to find your identity, you know, uh, at the altar up front. The, uh, the altar doesn't hold your identity. You're not going to find your identity in some conference or some prayer line. You're going to find your identity inside of you. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. The word, the word seek is an inwardly word according to the Greek, which means if I want to seek, I got to seek the Christ within because my identity is wrapped up in him, which means who I am every day of my life when I love is who I am. Who I, love, who I know every day of my life in the sense of getting to know someone, showing them love, showing them compassion, that's who I am. You know, People always say, well, I still don't get it, who I am. Let me put it to you this way. Your destiny inside of you will always attract to the substance or the things outwardly to fulfill its need inside, which means your identity is already inside of you. Your destiny is already inside of you. If you, if you look at your life every day of where you walk, where you're going to, you know, if you look at the details of life around you, you'll begin to discover who you are. You'll begin to discover your destiny. You know, think of it this way. You're like a magnet, and your identity inside of you will attract itself to people of precious like faith. Did you know that? Which means you're going to be attracted to people that are just like you. So my identity is when I'm attracted to someone in the natural, to, you know, that's compassionate, because I love their personality. I love their character. Guess what? That's part of who I am. I'm compassionate. I'm going to be drawn to those who are like me, whether I realize it subconsciously or not, I'm going to be drawn to those who are like me. So see, my identity is in Christ, which means the Christ in me will be attracted to those who have that same entity or that same personality or the same characteristic or the same gifting or talent that I have. So see, I won't have to be finding myself running to some altar trying to find it or running to different churches and trying to find it because what I am now is who God created me to be, which means who I am now I'm going to be drawn to the same kind of people who are like me. You know, in the natural, we hear, you know, the negative side of alcoholics hang out with alcoholics and drug people hang out with drug people, you know. Compassionate people hang out with compassionate people. Loving people hang out with loving people. You know, I try not to surround myself with people who are 
bitter or hatred, hate, full of hatred or the gossip about other people. I want to try to my best, if I can, hang out with people who love people because I'm attracted to that. Why? Because I perceive myself to be somebody who's a people person, someone who loves people regardless of who they are or what they are. And see, so what you are, you're going to become attracted to that thing. So your identity is who you are now. So I would say rejoice in who you are. You know, a lot of times religious people will try to tell you, if you want your identity, come up here and get it. If you want this, let me lay hands on you and you'll get your identity. If you want this, let me touch you. Send in $50 to here and I'll tell you who you are. No, none of that is true because the fact who you are inside, who you are now is who God created you to be. Wonderfully and fearfully created. Now, does that mean that you're stuck with a bondage or stuck with an addiction that, you know, you say, well, does that mean that's who I am? No. The person you are according to the fruit of the Spirit, the person you are according to how you respond to people when they're in need, you know, uh, what job you go to when you empower that job with all that you have. See, that's who you are. And sometimes it'll take the outside to pull these things out of us to show us this is who you really are. You know, when you're driving down the street and you see somebody in need and you automatically your response is, I want to stop and help that person. Why? That's who you are. That's your identity. Because you want to be able to find yourself compassionate and, and loving. Do you need somebody to tell you your identity is full of love or your identity is full of passion or compassion? No, because you're going to respond automatically through that gifting and through that talent and through who you are when the situation comes up and arises in your life. So what you need to do is this, get before the Lord. Say, Father, I know who I am inside. I just need to know it here, but I know it here in my heart. I just need to figure it out here in my mind. Because see, the mind is a carnal mind of man. It's the enemy of God or the enemy of God. So what you want to do is listen to your heart. Listen to the Holy Spirit inside of you. Your heart will attract itself to people that are just like you. And when you do, you'll, say, you'll find yourself saying, you know what, this is who I am and I love who I am. So if you want to know who your identity is, Find the Christ in you. You want to know who you are and what you call to do? Look at the people around you. Look at your environment. You want to know your identity? Look at people around you in your peripheral uh, view and realize that when you see things you're attracted to, look at TV shows you watch. Look at movies you go to. Look at music you listen to. Find the common denominator in these things of what attracts you to this type of movie, this type of music. And when you find the common denominator, you'll find yourself because you'll be attracted to those things that you'll like inside. And see, that's why sometimes when we lay our head down at nighttime and we sleep, God bypasses our conscious mind and goes directly to the subconscious mind of us to say, I want to talk to you about something. Perceive my mind so full of clutter, my mind so full of this and that. So what I do is a lot of times God will bypass the consciousness and go to the subconscious mind and tell us things we need to do. Well, see, in the natural, when I'm awake and alert, I have to watch by my subconscious mind what I'm attracted to. And I have to watch by people that draw near to my life and, and things I like to do. That's who you are. You know, and so don't struggle with saying, I don't know who I am. I got to run here, read this book to discover who I am. No, who you are now is who God's created you to be. Rejoice in the fact you are now who God created you to be because you're a beautiful you. There would never be no one like you. So rejoice today knowing that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world knowing that it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's the Christ who reveals himself in you, and that is who you really are in life. Amen. Hey, I got a great new teaching CD set I want to tell you about. It's called Becoming an Agent of Wholeness and Healing. A lot of people don't realize that every person on earth is an agent of healing, whether it's naturally or spiritually. You know, you can be a physical doctor, but you can also be a spiritual doctor, which means you have the power and the, and the capacity and the capability to begin to love someone back to wholeness. So if you want to know more about this, it's a two CD set, and we also offer it as an audio download on our website, identitynetwork.net. Just look us up on the web, look up Becoming an Agent of Healing and Wholeness. Or if you just really like me and you really want to order it really quick, because they're fast to sellers, then call us here at the office, 205-362-7133. Our customer service uh, people are standing by to answer your questions to take your order, and we can have it shipped to you automatically. Trust me, you want this series, because if you're like me, I want to know how to give life to people and how to bring people and restore people back to a place of wholeness by maybe my kind words or something the Bible tells me that would empower me to empower them. And in a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, 
they can be set free to become whole in Jesus' name. Hey, God bless you. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day today.